How's it going, Tricksy mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we're here with Forgotten Tunnels. Now, some of you might have noticed in the past few days I've been playing Congregate games. Um, since I've done the best game on Congregate, though, I wanted to go to another website, and I decided to go on Game Joe, and I found this. Apparently, it's a short horror experience, which is, you know, always fun. Um, I'm a bit confused what a Forgotten Tunnel is meant to be. Like, how can you forget a tunnel? Is that something people do? Well, I think about it. If you, like, build a tunnel, sure it's going to have a purpose. Like, cars go through it. Uh, that's the only thing I can really think of. There's probably other purposes. But, like, why? I don't know. It sounds creepy, and yet I don't know how someone can forget a tunnel. But you know what? It does sound spooky. That works. It is 4 a.m. I am a little tired. So I might be a bit delirious through this playthrough. But you know what? I am in the mood for some delirious horror, so let's get into this, shall we? Oh, hello. It's got a nice little um, ambient noise. A little slow, although I have to admit, it looks very pretty. Ah, oh, cool. This is exactly what I need. This is this is what the doctor ordered. When you're very tired, play a horror game. It's about it's about as healthy as having a whole cup of caffeine before you go to bed. Cool. Oh, nice and dark down there. What could be there? What could possibly be down this forbidden tunnel? Can I do anything? Like, I'm pressing all the buttons, no inventory, I, I literally, so all I can do is walk. Okay, cool. Can I run with the shift key? Nope. Can I, can I run with the, no, I don't want to press the tab key. Oh, well, tab key doesn't do anything anyway. So all I can do is aim and walk. Does anyone remember SCP-087-B, the staircase demon? This is what this feels like at the moment. Uh, wait a minute. Sorry, isn't that like a Japanese symbol there? Uh, I think it means inside, naka, chu. Sorry, I have been doing Japanese at university. I actually know how to um, speak choto nihongo. Uh, you know, <laughs> that'll come in handy for when I play a Japanese game. Is it a wise idea to look behind me? I'm beginning to wonder how long this experience is meant to be. Are we looping? Is this all there's going to be? Like, we're going to just continually walk down oh uh <laughs> you know what's scaring me right now just expecting something to happen uh it's the exact same thing i i don't know if i should really keep my headphones on i also don't know where is the demon what is the demon does the demon want to have tea and cakes together does the demon want to um wait a minute that's different okay well at least there's something to you know, alert me that something is going on. Probably gonna like get a nice little sudden spook. That's gonna be good for me. That's gonna keep me up. That's fine. Uh, oh, directions. Okay, we we. All right. <laughs> this begins to show how tired I am. All right. Well, I can't see anything through there. Can't see anything through there. And you know those um iron bars there look pretty sturdy. I'm sure. I'm sure I'll be okay one way or another. Uh. I still wish I could run or something, but okay, more strange noises. Nothing too lethal, just keep walking forward. I don't know what that's meant to be, but well, it's not making me feel safe. So what's our story here? Why are we going down the, these tunnels? It can't be a safe thing. Uh, is this a door? Can I open it? Well, space bar isn't doing anything. Enter isn't doing anything. No, I forget. I'm just a walking potato. That's what I am, because I can't seem to do anything except walk and look. Truly the only capabilities of a potato. Now, potatoes do have eyes, don't they? Okay, there's something down there. I wonder what the scary thing is. I'm really convinced something's going to come up behind me and just spook me. Like, uh, something else could, like, flash, like, right before my eyes, which would be annoying. I am curious to see what... What is the demon here? Like... What? Whose home are we invading? Because clearly some homeless person lives down here. And they're going to see us and be like, No, I paid for this place. This is my place. My family lives here. And I'll be like, you know, that's fine. Oh, we're going to go for a nice little swim. I'm sure this water isn't infected or dirty. Um... What? Where... Okay. <laughs> Got scared by a rat. That's nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Cool. Great. You know what? I've got a feeling I might actually die during this Let's Play. Uh, not because, like, this game's scary, because I'm literally... I'm at that point of tiredness where I might actually accidentally die. Yep, this is the last Let's Play of Mr. Jacholes. I'm... I'm thinking that something else is going on here, though. There must be a reason that a dead end was there. Although, i got to admit, ascending the stairs is much scarier. Wait a minute. Th that wasn't like that before, was it? Okay, there's more of the game. Cool. Still no demons yet. It's just being, you know, a little uh, quirky, a little um, camp. That that's all right. I mean, I'm not I'm not scarred yet. I haven't lost my mind. Oh. <laughs> okay. Cool. Zombies are babies now. We've got a nice little nursery of zombie babies. That's perfectly fine. You know what? You're looking after them. That's what matters. Have you got a few nursery people here? Have you? Are they looking after the zombie babies? Uh, what the hell is this thing? Oh, the zombie baby just, you know, got bored of this area, I guess. He needed to explore a bit. Why was he crawling? Why didn't he just use his legs? Did he not learn how to walk? Oh, good. They can open the bars at the, the iron gates, wherever they are. I thought they were just bars. But it turns out, I'm a potato who can't open anything, and I'm trapped with a zombie who can't walk. It's a bit bit strange, that, don't you think? Oh, I don't know, this is meant to be a short horror experience. He looked like he needed a hug. Alright, should we go see him? S excuse me, friend. I'm lost. Is this your home? Shall we get you on right move? Shall we find you somewhere nice? Got a nice little bungalow on South Street, right next to my place in Exeter. There's no bungalows on South Street. <laughs> I, I've been in Exeter long enough to know that there are, I'm just I'm just lying to this guy so he doesn't hurt me. I have to bargain with him. All right, continually walking, having a nice swim. Looks really dark in there. Oh, that's not so bad. We've got lights. Well, I'm sure these lights won't suddenly just black out on me. I can. I can trust these lights. That, that that was just an odd one, you know. We still got the light ahead of us. That that light will not give up on me. That light is my friend. It's, it's not going to betray me. It's not going. Is there anything behind me yet? Nope. Uh, light, are you going to stay on? I, I do hope you stay on. You stay till the end of the game. Wait, so it's seriously not going to burst? Oh, something's going to happen, isn't it? Something horrible, mean, and. Unjustly cruel. I don't know why I put my hand over my mouth. It makes me feel better. It doesn't. Oh, breathing. Shall we go towards the breathing? Hello? Oh, yes, please. Breathe on me more. I want to hear you breathe all over me. We're in COVID lockdown. We're not allowed to be <laughs> two meters close to each other. Close? We're not allowed to be closer than two meters. Yeah, that sentence works. You, you can breathe all you want, but you can't breathe on me, because then Boris Johnson will come down and break you. And so will Donald Trump, and so will all the Western leaders. I don't know about the Eastern leaders, like, I'm sure they're not huge on get, catching the coronavirus either, but, you know, I'm pretty sure good old Western culture forbids us to, to contact each other, you and I. Oh, the breathing stopped. I was getting excited then, and now now I've lost the breathing. I've lost my friend. Uh, okay, but some new exciting developments are happening here. I'm not going in there. I don't want to get trapped. Uh, well, I can always go back. That's fine. There's definitely nothing in here, though. I still don't want to be trapped, so I'm going to ignore that. Was there something there, or am I mad? Oh, the breathing's back! Hello, friend. Oh, look! My friend up there is just standing like a weirdo. Excuse me, friend, are you, um... You, uh, what are you doing? Why is it completely red there? Are you developing some photographs in your photograph room? You got any nice pictures up there? Pictures of some flowers? Pictures of some children? Pictures of some crawling zombies just being weird and not learning to stand. Hey, you learned to stand. Well, that's good. Okay, cool. We're just going to keep going forward, I guess. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am spooked. This is a nice horror experience if there's such a thing. Although, i got to admit, I kind of just want the demon to run up at me. Like, I'd hate that. But then at least it would get the scare over with. What's this? 
Huh. More jail cells. This game really wants me to trap myself, doesn't it? Well, I'm not going in the obvious spaces. Because I've got a feeling the game designer would just be that sick. Uh, please, if you're going to spook me, just spook me already. I haven't been spooked in ages. I don't know if my heart could take it. Just seeing the title in, in the window. You know, the window has its own, like, oh, my name's actually this. The title says Tunnels VR, even though it's called Forgotten Tunnels or something. Um, I don't think I'd want to play this in VR because I literally would die. I mean, I have tried VR. It's pretty realistic, like it's fuzzy, but you know, you definitely can get motion sick. And I've been motion sick a few times. Not on the floor, but you know. Ah, oh, <laughs> yeah, cool, we're trapped. Are you going to take pictures of me, Mr. Zombie? Are you going to crawl up to me like a child? Oh, he's let me out. Well, that's not... Um... Well, okay. Is this for... Oh, jeez. Looking at that is weird. Is it blood? Oh, that's not so bad. Cool. Well, as long as it all blends in... Yeah, that's fine. I, I was fine with, like, the first tunnel and the, the what it's become, but the in-between bit was horrible. Okay, now it's nice and red and stuff. Cool. Perfect for take. Ooh! Music! Oh, is that a nice sound? I think I... Oh, gee! Cool! <laughs> well, there's the hard time. I got my wish. I got rushed at. Okay. So that was, that was the game. Forgotten Tunnels. Actually, it said it was a short horror game, and it actually delivered really well. Like, it wasn't just the creature that scared me, even him just crawling weirdly like a baby. I actually got scared by the walls changing, that was cool. The red was actually pretty cool. The going slowly down a staircase was a bit boring at first, but actually, it all kind of blended really well together. That was actually a really good horror experience. Game Shop games are good for their horror. Like, I know they use the Unity engine, and my people might say, like, oh, the Unity engine's so, like so 2014 or something but I genuinely think like horror games start in game job you, you kind of have to play a game job horror game to have some pretty decent horror or you know a PlayStation 4 game that that took from game job and then just you know I'm just saying PlayStation steals the good horror games from game job but anyway it was a really good game if you want to try it yourself like relive the experience then the link is in the description down below and without further ado Look at my books, Grammy YouTube channel. Until next time, see ya.